guys. Yesterday I made the corn update. Today we're broadcasting fertilizer. Um, I am putting 200 pounds the acre of urea on, which is what 46 times two. That's how many pounds of actual hen I'm putting on. Um, I didn't come back here yesterday making this video. But you can see the corn back here is quite a bit taller. Um, during the outwintering, the cows were back here more than in the front. So obviously there's a lot more available fertilizer from the cows outwintering. So, I am putting a little bit higher rate on than I normally do. As you can see, I am overlapping. Um, this is about as far over as the spreading. It says a 50 foot spread, but it's spreading closer to 100. 75 probably. Um, so I'm kind of overlapping because it's probably not spreading as high a rate as it's supposed to be. So, so yeah, we are uh, broadcasting fertilizer. This is, like I say, just urea. I'll show you guys when I stop what the sheet actually says. Um, some comments about this urea that it's bonus volatility. Well, we put, I don't know if it's AgriSure. We used to put NutraSphere on, but I think the co-op switched to AgriSure. I think that's what it's called. Uh, that fertilizer in there. It's got that greenish color. That is the end stabilizer. To make it so it doesn't evaporate into the air, um, it really doesn't prevent it from leaching down into the soil too deep with too heavy of rain. But, uh, as my buddy Ted said, I think there's enough organic matter and roots here that it's not going to leach that fast. Um, it takes nitrogen to break down fodder. So, I think if anything, all the plant material here that's dead is going to rot more than what will leach too deep into the soil. So anyways, we are uh, getting this done. As you can see, the corn looks a little bit taller than it did even yesterday. Um, we had sun this morning and now it's getting cloudy and they're talking rain. today. I think tomorrow and then it's supposed to be nice for a couple days anyways I'm hoping it's enough nice long enough that I can get the park ground get that hay done down there um, but yeah we are getting this done I ordered enough to do this corn ground and then put a hundred pounds of urea on the hay ground at home here I love this spreader because it's the hydraulic one and it shuts off right now. There's no screwing around with that stupid rope. Here you can see all them dang weeds that nobody's told me what it is yet. Um, the grass is growing good underneath it. It's just the first cutting of it's going to be weedy, which whatever. It is what it is. I'll see here I'm driving kind of right on the edge of where it was spreading. Um, but I would rather have a little more than not enough. So
the box is starting to get empty. So it should come out about perfect. I ordered 5,100 pounds of urea. Applying 200 pounds to the acre. I figure there's about 21 acres of corn at home. And then that hay, there's about uh, somewhere between 9 and 11. But that last triangle part that I cut, I'm going to put fertilizer on that last because if I run out, I'm not as worried about that getting fertilizer on it because there is a fair amount of clover and alfalfa in there. So. And if I wouldn't have been overlapping here a little bit, I could have got this field all done in this last pass, but um, over here is really sandy, obviously. So I like to get more nitrogen on there than what I'm applying on the rest of it. Um, so yeah, hopefully it rains this afternoon or tonight. That'll help get this in the ground right away. And hopefully the corn grows like a weed, because the weeds sure grow fast. But... Um, in some of my other videos, guys have mentioned, ask if I spray anything other than Roundup, and I do not, because I do not have the knowledge of any other additive that I can add with it that you don't have to have a license to buy. Um, I am not a commercial applicator, and with Roundup you do not have to have a commercial license to buy, so I only spray Roundup. I know there are other stuff you can add to the Roundup that you don't have to have a license to purchase, but I don't know what it is. And I've never had a problem with just Roundup. If you, it seems like if I time it right, um, two passes of Roundup on everything is normally enough to carry me through for the year. So. I don't invest the money or time into talking to salesmen about other ways to blow money on the farm. Um, I don't, I seem to not have an issue spending enough money the way it is now. So, and even, even with these other additives, a lot of guys say that they still have to spray twice anyway. So. I don't really want to spend the money on that. Plus, it always worries me. I normally plant a cover crop behind everything, and I don't always know what I'm going to plant new seeding on, so I hate to plant anything that could leave residual in the soil that would prevent my cover crop or my new seeding from growing, so that's just kind of the way I play the game. sucks that the new seating didn't come on this field, but oh well, as long as the corn does good, that'll make me happy. So once we get to the end here, I'm going to adjust the fertilizer spreader to spread half the rate that it's spreading right now, and then I'm going to go over this grass, and then I'm going to go over that new seating. And then if there's anything left, I'm going to empty it out on that triangle. Um, that hay field up there, that five acres, uh, I'm not planning on putting any fertilizer on it. Um, after, after I cut hay again, I'm figuring on applying fertilizer on all the hay grown. And that'll be, like I mentioned yesterday, a mix of potash, ammonia sulfate, AMS and urea. Um, I normally do 
around 150 pounds of potash to the acre when I fertilize the hay ground, 100 pounds of AMS, and then 50 pounds of urea. So just try to get it so I'm fertilizing for a ton and a half to the acre of hay because normally I don't get more than a ton and a half to the acre anyways. So there we're shut off. So my PTO off here because I don't know how close that adjuster is to the spinner and while we're sitting here quick come on focus uh, my phone doesn't want to focus here but anyways there's 51 pounds of urea Egg retain advanced, 1.3 gallons. They actually put 1.4 gallons on. So that's what we're spreading. So I am going to adjust that spreader and then I'm going to cover this hay ground. I'm not going to record that. Um, get that all done and we'll be done putting some nitrogen on everything. So, anyways, thanks for watching. Comment, rate, subscribe. Stay tuned for more. Catch you all in the next one. Have a great day, guys.